What's going on, y'all? Welcome back for another video. In this one, I'm gonna be talking about pressure washing and specifically, what is the best price for a minimum mobilization as it pertains to pressure washing jobs. Uh, we do not do that much pressure washing. However, lately, we have been doing much more of it. You guys know that I wash all of the Waffle Houses in my state, we've got a little 4 GPM. And since our washer is not that big, it takes a long time. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I cannot stand pressure washing. I don't like it, I get soaking wet. Uh, I know some people are super successful at pressure washing. I am not one of those people. However, we do make a minimal amount of money when we do it because when companies are calling you Typically what they want is a contractor that provides various aspects of parking lot maintenance because a general contractor who is, let's say, installing some electric vehicle charging stations, he wants to be able to hire a striping contractor or asphalt maintenance contractor that also does pressure washing. These general contractors really don't want to have to call three or four different companies to try to get the job done. So what they do is they call it a turnkey solution. That just means one service provider that provides various services so they can just deal with one person, eliminating all other headaches. This is a customer of ours who does a lot of work for car dealerships in the state. He installs electric vehicle charging stations. And he called me earlier this year, said that he wanted me to do some striping. I sent him a price. I think the job was like 750 bucks, no big deal, very small job. Uh, pull up, it would take us longer to drive there than it would to do it, and then we'd be on to the next one. However, last time we went to the job, right when we pulled up, he wanted it to be pressure washed. Obviously, when I mobilize people and I get a crew out there, whether I go or my dad goes, my mom goes, whoever goes to do the job, Obviously, it costs more money in the long run if you're paying people hourly to drive two hours this way, two hours that way, and then do the job for an hour and a half. You guys know the striping doesn't take that long. Nevertheless, you lose a lot of money just in the travel time between jobs. Now, with that being said, last time when he had us do some parking lot striping, he tried to include the pressure washing right before we touch the site, trying to squeeze it in, see if we could kind of do it for free, no big deal. And uh, that is not in the job description. Now, what I try to do is include these things in my estimates to try to upsell the customer to make more money. However, if they only want striping, I'm not gonna wash the surface first unless I'm gonna get paid for it because I gotta send somebody out here to wash then they have to wash the property and then if they've got the striping trailer with them then they got to wait for it to dry and then this becomes an all-day endeavor for you know 1200 bucks and it's just not worth it he gave me a call told me this job was ready then asked if i would come by give him a quote to pressure wash the concrete and prepare the surface which is kind of nice because last time he tried to sneak it in so that obviously tells me he is being much more considerate of our time which is awesome anyways nevertheless not a big job um the original ticket price for this one was 750 bucks i think just looking at the property in the uh concrete it's going to be about a 500 dollars wash job so seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 1200 bucks plus supplies and um, labor for the day will probably cost 150, 200, meaning I'll probably walk away with about a thousand bucks profit on this job. So not too bad for a day's work, especially if you're not having to go out in the field. And you guys know that I'm trying to make that transition where I'm doing a lot less field work because I'm enjoying more of the selling side from my desk than the operations um, and uh, just working on it and not necessarily in it is uh, more appealing to me at the moment. So that's for another video, another day. We're not there yet, still growing. And um, I'm just not ready to make that jump completely yet because, you know, this is my baby. So I'm gonna hop out of the car 
What I want you guys to do is look at this. Tell me what you would charge in the comment section for pressure washing. I'm thinking about 500 bucks because you know, I don't want to charge 175 because then I'm not going to make anything once I send somebody out here to wash it. So that's why I'm going to try to do 500 bucks. That way, like I said, 150 to 200 for the day, then I can still make money off top without having to do anything. Let me know in the comment section what you guys would charge to wash this job that I'm on right now. Let's get out. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here it is, which is really nice because there's a water hookup right there which is pretty cool. That tells me getting water to this area is not gonna be an issue. Um, a lot of cars are here though. That is the negative part, but here it is right here. He's been installing those things all over the city and we just come behind him and do the striping, which was pretty nice. So as you can see right there, uh, not too big. I would say starting where this crack is, going down this line, all the way to that very end um, where those handicap symbols are, right there by the door. I'm assuming that's where he wants to stop. I haven't looked at the plans in like six months, but anyways, not too bad. I mean, in all honesty, it's gonna take us longer probably to just drive here than it would be to restripe these lines. Um, ultimately, that's pretty much it. Not too complicated. But uh, let me know how much you guys would charge to pressure wash this. And then uh, let me know in the comment section what you would charge to stripe it. I think in total it's like one, I think in total it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lines, two access aisles. And uh, I haven't even checked the plans to see if there were any symbols, but I'm thinking 500 to wash it, 750 to stripe it. Walk away with uh, charging 1200 bucks, probably make $1,000, not even having to go out in the field. What, do you, what would you guys charge on this? I'm gonna get back in the truck. So not too complicated of a job and um, I'm gonna resend the ticket price and uh, hopefully he accepts it because I really don't wanna wash it for anything less than 500 bucks. So I uh, just wanna make that quick video. Let me know what you guys would do in the comment section below. Uh, we have got two jobs to go do right now and then um, I'll probably make a video later on in the week. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell icon and we will see you in the next video.